Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allah سلام طول الدواء That's mean forever and more There's something more than forever Of course Allah Almighty He doesn't have limitation The limit being given For weak servant as us Even we are controlling so many things, even we are thinking, even we have willpower, even we have this, we have that. But we're still in the border of limitation. Still we have fences in our life. We still, we have prohibited area to enter. Hey, insanoğlu. Allah Almighty, He is addressing. O oh, Bani Adam. O oh, human. Don't be proud. Be humble for your Lord. Every beginning, if it is have an end. Every power it will not last forever. When you are at the top point, top point of your body power, then you reach the top point and then immediately start going down. Say, there is no break. <laughs> no break. Yahoo, no. First sign of Going down your white hair. Allah Almighty, 
he make the white hair, the gray hair, to let you know that you are losing power. <laughs> you are not powerful anymore. You're only wise. <laughs> Wiser. This is how we are making, this is the good things in the human. They are all, every time getting some excuse in their self say, no, 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 wiser. <laughs> Less power, doesn't matter, wiser. Ah, yeah. Immediately, they figure out how to go out of the situation. I remember with Maulana Sheikh sitting. Maulana, we become old. No, your father old, you are not old. <laughs> Maulana Sheikh telling me, your father is old, not. <laughs> Yaho, now I am old. Now you are old. Now everybody old. This is not the matter how to be old, but the matter here is to be really wiser. Because when you figure out that when you are on the top, top point, and then from that top point, you start to go down, then you have to remember Allah Almighty to say, Ya Rabbi, we are coming to you. There are so many people have the fear of death. Fear of death, it is really big illness. It is not something that people, because Allah Almighty, he show the end also. And with this showing, you can see, oh yeah, I, be, I spend my credit now, these days the, the children, they know this one, they have a credit in their telephone saying, oh, my credit is finished, what shall I do now? The life also, you say, every day you are using credit, you like it or you don't like it? Using, tick, 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 nobody asking you. The fear of death, it is one of the big illness that people start to fear when they have a certain age, they start to think different. Let's say in the 20s, you think, oh, the world is mine. Everything is mine. Everything. Spend, 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 spend. You don't care. But when you come to certain age, you start, oh, I have children to look after. I have to put something beside, or I have to do some future, and say future, future, there's Allah, Allah. You've been in the 20, you don't think about future. <laughs> now you start to think about your future, children future. No, don't think like this. Allah Almighty, He give individual life for everybody. This is wahdaniya, haqqul wahdaniya. This is the right of oneness. Allah Almighty, he show his oneness in every single things. And every single things, it show you Allah Almighty oneness. So many people say, how can? No, Allah Almighty is showing. Because Allah Almighty, when he create his servant, that servant is one. Maybe we are 7 billion, 8 billion, 10 billion, 50 billion, doesn't matter. But the one is one. You cannot be your brother, even you are brother. You cannot be your father, even coming from your father. You cannot mother, even mother give birth for you. No, individual, Allah Almighty. This is the big miracle of Allah Almighty creating everyone in individual. That's why he say the rizq, the income. Everybody it is worried about his income, worried about his children's income. So Allah Almighty said, the rizqi, it is a secret. Nobody have to write to interfere. And Mawlana Sheikh, he, they show him one picture of frog. And that frog, it was in very rocky area. There is no water, no nothing. And that frog managed to live there and to survive, to find the food, to eat also. And Allah Almighty say, this is very big example for Allah Almighty to show you how the rizki is coming. How is the purpose of living? This is Allah Almighty say. 
I am responsible. Allah may say, I am responsible for my servant. How you can find better responsible than Allah Almighty to respond for your income? That's why when we are coming in the point that we are going down, we have to only focus on something to say, Ya Rabbi, you send us here and you are taking us back. And this is, will be the top point of surrendering to Allah Almighty. Because all of us, we cannot surrender. This is definitely sure. We cannot surrender. If we are surrendering, we can leave the paradise in here. Because if you know who is hosting you and who is kicking you out, <laughs> then you will be okay. But if you don't know who is hosting you and you don't know who will kick you out, then how it will be? You will be all the time disturbed. Who is the host? Who is the host? Who is giving this? Who is giving that? Yeah, Allah. No, no. Who is giving? Who is, who is? Life finished. So short. You know, pshoom. what happened? You cannot find who give. <laughs> and why they kick me out? Also, you cannot find. But the grave, it will be a long time to think about it. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you have good place to settle also. <laughs> because Allah Almighty says, either it will be paradise garden or hell well. This is Allah, a lot of it is. And Maulana Sheikh, he was saying good advice for the grave to not be hell. He say, the two rakat sunnah after zuhur, if you make it four rakah that we do, alhamdulillah, that will avoid azabul qabr. This two extra rakah, he said it will avoid the azab will cover. That means the punishment. punishment of grave. This is also, by the way, I give it as free advice. <laughs> 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 I am not asking. Alhamdulillah, we are not asking for money for any advice. <laughs> so many people, they say the advice can cost you one camel. But... Today, we give for free and nobody take. <laughs> free advice, free advice. If you take, it's a free. If you don't take, it's mine. The advice is still uh, good uh, things to keep in your mind, good things to keep in your heart. We are happy to be servant for Allah Almighty, and we are happy to continue the legacy of Maulana Sheikh Nazim, and to keep the legacy of the Grand Sheikhs, because Maulana Sheikh, he is one of the Grand Sheikh that he left this legacy for Sheikh Mehmet to continue, and we are happy as Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Adnan, and I am as the weakest, to be in serving for the servant of Allah, the one they want to come and the one they want to be continuing the spiritual journey according to Maulana Sheikh Nazim teaching, according to Maulana Sheikh Abdullah teaching, according to Maulana Sheikh Sharaf al-Din teaching, according to Grand Sheikh teaching. We are here to serve. We don't have to ask any money. Anybody asking money for his service, that means he is not serving. So clear. When you ask money for your service in Tariqa, then it is not true service. Allah, when he sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Jibreel alayhi salam, he came next to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, listen, ya Rasulullah. And it was sound of gold, river of gold coming next to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the gold have very nice 
uh, sound. So nice sound. It is the metal that have a beautiful sound. None of the metals have beautiful sound as the gold. That's why gold is gold. <laughs> Everything beautiful in gold. Everything, all the human, they have been attracted by gold. Because Allah Almighty, he make the gold as high level uh, no, madan. Element. element, high quality element is being Allah Almighty. He make the gold high qual high element. That's why even the nose, no nose of noise of gold, it's have nice musical. musical. And it was coming next to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Jibril alayhi salam. He said, Ya Rasulullah, this gold river was giving to you to use it. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, No, I am doing this for Allah. I'm not doing it for material. That's why it's so precious. Don't forget this one. It's very important point. Don't forget this one. Anything being done for materialistic, it's material. It doesn't have the spiritual value. That's why the spiritual value is the highest, the most highest. Alhamdulillah, we've been with Maulana Sheikh since we born. <laughs> And I never see Maulana Sheikh asking for materialistic things. No, he was giving the material away just to win the heart of the people by spiritual being. This is Maulana Sheikh. That's why we are here also claiming and saying to everybody that we are here as servant to Maulana Sheikh Nazim to continue his legacy and servant for his murid and servant for the humanity, inshallah. May Allah make us in this way strong and not make our heart to play because the heart also can play. This is to not be trust too much also because we have to keep saying, hey you, you are not here to sit for materialistic issue. No, here you are to sit for spiritual issue. And you have to shout in our ego. We have to press our ego and we have to make this issue very clear in our mind and in our heart. May Allah forgive us and may Allah make us to be strong in our mission and to continue our mission until our last breath. Then we meet our Lord and we meet our Sheikh and we meet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam hoping that they accept us to be with them and that's why we are looking to be in this way as a spiritual, not as material. ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الحبيب بحرمة الفاتحة سبحان الله سلطان الله نبي محمد عليه السلام وسلم على جميع الانبياء والمرسلين وعليك النجمين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة